Well, uh, we, we went to the Old Street last night and we decided to stay in this really nice hotel which is called the Happiness Inn uh, Boutique Hotel. It's called Xing Fu Zhan. Uh, Xing, Fu, Xing Fu means happiness, means luck. And Zhan means, uh, you know, when you're on Facebook and you press like, in Chinese we call it Zhan. You know, means great. <laughs> Because last night, uh, if you've been following our Taiwanese and English posts, we went to the Xinjiang Old Street. Uh, Xinjiang Old Street is a really, really interesting place. Uh, the streets there are over 200 years old. Uh, the temples there, they have like nearly 300 year old temple, uh, 240 year temple. The whole Xinjiang uh, Old Street, or you can also call it the Xinjiang Temple Street. Uh, actually got the name because the whole street is covered by various different kinds of temples uh, including one uh, that is very interesting is the uh, Wu Shen Miao. Wu Shen Miao is actually uh, the temple worshipping Guan Yu. Guan Yu, if you're familiar with him, a lot of uh, uh, Chinese people will worship Guan Gong. Uh, so he is a really really powerful man so uh, his temple is also really different because usually uh, outside of the temple at the gates uh, they will have like a uh, god of gates uh, to, to guard the whole temple so the Wu Shen Miao is just one of the uh, really really few temples that doesn't have any gods on the gates for guarding uh, because Guan Yu uh, the uh, Guan Gong they call it Guan Shen Di Jun he is already really really you know powerful and has a lot of really good martial arts skills so he doesn't even need a guard so uh, these little details about the cultural and the history of Taiwan, this is what attracts me more. Uh, so, well, we, we've been to many different places in the uh, Old Street and around, including a very beautiful bridge. If you want to know more, you can follow our Taiwan in English website. And, uh, well, uh, we, we went to the Old Street last night and we decided to stay in this really nice hotel, which is called the Happiness Inn uh, Boutique Hotel. It's called Xing Fu Zhan. Uh, xing, fu, xing Fu means happiness, means luck, and Zan means, uh, you know, when you're on Facebook and you press like, in Chinese we call it Zan, you know, means great. Uh, so this is a very uh, family-friendly place. Um, uh, I'll show you around a little bit later. They actually do have family rooms uh, for four people, but uh, because this hotel is very popular, and a lot of people come here for weddings, uh, you know, a wedding boutique is a thing here in Taiwan. Uh, so a lot of people uh, will stay in this hotel for uh, the wedding today. They stay here last night. So we decided to take two, uh, you know, twin uh, bedrooms. So, well, uh, the bed is quite large, as you can see. Okay, and there's even a really comfy sofa. And, uh, well, this is a, a very uh, residential area. So uh, there is not a lot of shops around, which is also one of the reasons I like this place. It's very quiet. Uh, there is a park uh, around this place, so uh, my kids love to go there and, you know, do the, uh, they recently fell in love with skateboarding. So both of my kids, they have uh, skateboards. Uh, so later, after breakfast, we're going there again. I can show you more. So I just want to show you a little bit more about the room. The view is nice, really bright, uh, twin beds. They even got a, uh, a desk. This is more like a uh, executive uh, room but still uh, very comfortable. Uh, large TV, which is important for me. And uh, this TV allows me to connect to a lot of different ports, as you can see. Uh, usually the hotel room will not really give you this access, uh, but in here, uh, you've got your HDMI, USB port here, and also you know plugs for your laptop. So uh, yesterday we could just link it to my uh, laptop and watch uh, videos and movies and things like that. Very convenient. And uh, yeah, they've got a uh, fridge here. And this is uh, complimentary drinks, Sprite and Coke. No, this is what we bought at 7-Eleven nearby. And also they've got a uh, yeah, little tea and coffee thing here. Closet here, okay, and the uh, locker, okay, and also one of the really really nice advantages here is that yeah, you know I like bathtubs, 
so yeah we could uh, you know stay here enjoy our bath and at the same time have the nice angle to watch TV and video at the same time wonderful okay and uh, yeah so here you've got our uh, bathroom very comfy space uh, really nice uh, you know shampoo and uh, conditioner and now you might wonder where is the toilet okay this is definitely not the toilet <laughs> so well I said this is a very family friendly room so they actually really sweet they separated the toilet area and another you know huge mirror glass sink uh, in the other side so uh, we could actually when I was in shower my son could come here and you know brush his teeth and enjoy his because uh, Ken's Chinese name is Wang Wenmen. Yes. He's a member of the royal Wang family. Wang yeah. also means uh, the king, you know, in Chinese. Oh, yeah. thank you. <laughs> it's, it's really, it's really. So your, your, Chinese, your English name should be King, not Ken. Not just yeah, king. thank you. Yeah, so, so you can see a lot of W. Even the TV there is a W. Yes. Uh, the, the floor here, there is a W. And on the, all the doors, you know, and the entrance gate like this. Also, they have W. It's a, a lot of details. You mean that the cafeteria and the this design is very detailed. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. 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 Thank you into the long-term uh, sustainable kind of business because you can see really, really few uh, hotels in Taiwan, Taiwanese brands that can have their own logo, you know, and have a consistent kind of design in the whole place. It's really nice. Wow, look at this. Really, really comfortable. Uh, this uh, breakfast area is uh, in the middle of the two different buildings that they have here. And uh, there is an open roof window on top and one of the elevators, when you're actually taking it, uh, it will take you up and you can see this whole roof by the top. Well, that's one of the elevators. One of the elevators, you can see the whole view. It's very beautiful. Yeah. The design is very nice. Let's show you your breakfast. What? Okay, let's start with this. Ooh, okay. This is the uh, congee, right? Oh, okay, Chinese style. Uh, this is really, really nice because most of the uh, nice boutique hotels in Taiwan will offer you different kind of styles of breakfast. This is a Chinese style, so you've got lu rou fan, braised meat rice, uh, regular rice, and you can actually go with, oh, oh, this is what I love. If you come to Taiwan, you have to try this. This is called rou song. rou song. Bao man tou a, bai da. Yeah, okay. okay. This is the western food area. They've got soup. Also, they got vegetarian options here, really sweet. And, ooh, nice fish, yeah. eggs. Ooh, this looks yummy. They've got salad. Oh, nice. Lots of options. Ooh, bread. Ooh. Different kind of juices, coffee, 